questions. My name is Marek Sobolewski and I am working for the company Trademark Realty. Our office is located in Maspeth and also in uh, Brooklyn on uh, Kent Avenue. So today I have a few minutes that I would like to share four valuable points could save you as an owner thousands of dollars and also could save you as the agents a lot of headaches and uh, a lot of time. So first point is uh, owners they have to agree to sell the property. Why is this very important? Because you know if you don't have a mutual agreement you know of both if there's a two parties involved on it um, later on it could hurt you. You know I had different transactions throughout the career and one time I remember there was an owner there were actually two owners they were agreeing to sell the commercial building in the last moment after the contract has been signed they decided they don't one person doesn't want to sell it another person they change mind but what had happened it cost them the building the contract was already executed a lot of times that stuff happens also if the people getting divorced you know they're going through the process you know it's very painful and sometimes one person can uh, do something stupid just to hurt another person so you want to make sure that the, the all parties in the transaction they agree to sell the property that stuff could save you at thousands of thousands of dollars. The second valuable point, what actually people uh, don't take uh, seriously and they think, you know, everything's gonna go through it. Number two, uh, there is no open permits. Permits everything is closed there is no open violations saying that the building is clear why is that very important as I mentioned earlier because it could sometimes as the owners they neglect that stuff you know I had many times Actually, in, even recently, I had a case, uh, the owner did the job, but he didn't close the permit. And what happened, the bank couldn't close in the, like one week before the closing. They said that they cannot, they found the permit open and they couldn't close it. So we had to go find another buyer. I had to find another bank who was willing to close with the upper per permit. That happened, but it was a, like a longer process. It took another three or four months just to get to the finish line. So you want to make sure there is no open permits. You want to make sure then you have the plans. And you know, Department of Building is very crucial right now. The old parallel plans, even they approved, you have to reinstate them or either withdraw. You know, there's a lot of stuff can happen in a transaction and you can uh, lose a lot of money. Another very valuable point is Tenants. Number three. Tenants. Tenants. Especially tenants in a basement. How many of you dealt with people who actually want to get more money or either make extra cash just to pay off the mortgage, having the tenant? You know, people don't talk about it. 
but uh, there in New York City, in five boroughs, there are actually people renting apartments. And before you decided to sell it, you want to make sure there is no tenant in that apartment because it could cost you a lot of money. Recently, one of the transactions we have, one of the deals, there was a tenant living in the illegal basement. Actually, he and he just put a wrench into the owners. He's asking for moving out about $100,000, which is insane. But what happened, he has a right. And also he hired the attorney. So you want to make sure before you sell the property, you don't have anything illegal is going on in your apartment or in your building. That's uh, number three. And the last thing I want to share with you, before you sell the property, you got to consult with accountant. Um, that's the person uh, it is very valuable because you know sometimes you own one family some people own two family and you don't know you know what's your tax consequences so when you're selling commercial building investment property if you don't roll in into different different property as an investment you will be hurt with the capital gain so some, sometimes before you sell it, you have to consult the accountant and that person has to do know what's going on. A lot of 1031 exchanges, um, what else? Uh, if you have a primary re resident and you're renting apartment upstairs, you, that's the questions you have to give it to your accountant and he will be able to set you the way you so, should know. Once I had a person, he was selling commercial building and he had to pay over $500,000 in taxes. He bought a property in 92 and we sold it in 2014-15 and the property was sold for 1.8 million and uh, but he didn't want to do anything else. He didn't want to transfer it into another commercial property or anything like this. So he knew then he's gonna pay the taxes. So I think those four points which I share with you today are very important. So I'm just going to recap it. First, you have to have an agreement of the owners. Agreement of people on a title. Second, no open permits. Permits. Third, no illegal apartments. Illegal and the last thing is taxes. So if you know those four things you did your homework, you prepare yourself, your sell will be successful, you're gonna profit as much as you can, you're not gonna run into different trouble dealing with the issues later on, you know, before the closing. So thank you very much and have a good night.